circuits. In trunk, index contains complex raw data and associated index files. The indexed files separated into a different directories depending on the age. Splunk call these directories as buckets. There are six buckets and the special bucket is a fish bucket which is different to all these buckets. Here is how index move. Newly indexed data will be coming from the coming to the hot bucket and index data has one or more hot buckets. Then it goes to a warm bucket on the warm path data rolled from hot bucket with no archive writing. Index has many warm buckets. Now let's talk about buckets. Buckets moved from the warm, moved from the different location in the file system. An index has many cold buckets. Reason to a cold that we have a different location is because cold data is rarely accessed. Now we have a frozen bucket. This is rolled from the cold bucket, the index will delete frozen buckets by default that you can choose to a archive from the data that you're moving to the first. Now it will be going to the first bucket, the bucket where data will not be read and it will be archived. Let's see the directories for each of these buckets. Now the directories with the path looks like this. Hot and warm has the same directory. If you can see the path is also same for both hot bucket and the warm bucket, which is a var, lib and the default db. The next is a cold bucket, which is also a little bit of difference to these paths from where data will be archived and will be stored here in the cold bucket. In frozen, it should be specified with the location. If we move to the frozen bucket, this is where it is depending on the location and finally the trolled bucket, which is the last one in the bucketing system. Thank you.